Yeah, so with cross country, I mean, they're in season from preseason in cross country, and then they have indoor track and outdoor track. So they're pretty much in season from last weekend to Memorial Day weekend. So they get a couple little breaks in between, but it's a really nice setup for us having the three different seasons because they get to train year round and I get to see them year round. So last track season, outdoor specifically, we really got to see some really big jumps in fitness with a lot of the, a lot of the men and the women. Um, just really big personal records in, in some of the distance events and that got them fired up and excited for this fall and it, I think it actually helped a lot of them decide that they wanted to go to Flagstaff and kind of take it to the next level. A group of seven men went to Flagstaff this past summer for the month of July and what happened was the year before three of them went and I suggested it to them because I did it um, I did it in college a couple times so it was I felt like it really kind of helped my fitness level kind of get to that next level and the fact that you're out there training for you're just out there training I mean I, I had a part-time job when I did it but it was just nice to be out there doing that and then so last year three of them went and this year seven of them decided to go out to Flagstaff so it shows the the commitment and that they have big goals for the fall. So for us as a, as a cross country program, it's the meets later in the season that have, um, I guess, more weight. So uh, you get to a point that if you're a good enough team, you're, you're looking at possibly getting an at-large bid to nationals if you don't finish in the top two at regionals. So we really have to plan out our schedule based on on where we're going to go and who we're going to compete against later in the season. So um, after our two home meets, we travel to Van Cortlandt Park in the Bronx in New York City, and Iona hosts a meet there, so we get to go against some big D1 teams. And then after that, we go to the Paul Short Invitational, which is at Lehigh University, and that's one of the biggest invitationals on the East Coast for, as far as college and high school. And then two weeks after that, we're actually traveling out to Los Angeles, California, to Pomona Pitzer, and the, the team's really excited about that. We're going out to race against some of the top teams in the West region in Division Three, And then after that, I mean, we have our conference meet, regionals, and hopefully nationals. Yeah, I mean, on the women's team, we have, um, I think it's three juniors right now, and then the rest are sophomores and freshmen, so we're still young. Um, we only have our third recruiting class coming in this this coming fall, so it's, it's still a young team. We don't really have any seniors. Um, but we do look to those juniors for, for leadership, Kelly being one of them, um, Mary Sam another one, and then we all have a, a couple sophomores that have really stepped up too as far as um, CJ Morris and Achola Dola. On the men's side, it's, it's tough. I mean, we have a lot, of, so that first recruiting class are all juniors now. And when I say first recruiting class, I mean my first recruiting class since I've come to Stevenson. And um, it's just a great group of guys. I mean, I. I always call on them to whenever we need, I mean, leadership. I mean, Brett Olin is a big one, Langston Gash, obviously, um, and just a lot of other juniors there, Sam Riccoli, Jackson Moreau, I mean, they're, I kind of go to all those guys. Yeah, so September 1st is, is the home, the first home meet, and that's more of a low-key meet, but um, that's in the evening on, on a Friday, September 1st. And the second meet is the, the one that really means a lot to us. It's the Shannon Henready Invitational. Um, Shannon was a, a former cross-country runner here at Stevenson, but also was a volunteer assistant coach for us in 2014. And she actually passed away due to complications with pneumonia in December of 2014. So we named the Invitational after her and proceeds go to her scholarship fund in the nursing department. So she was a really inspiration, inspirational person for us as a team and as a program. And it's nice for us to be able to honor her.